Well, with all the attention down south, residents along the northern border are sounding the alarm on the growing migrant crisis. The number of illegal encounters setting new records spiking over 240 percent from 2022. Our next guest found piles of abandoned clothes just outside her home, has caught migrants on security cameras and says it's so terrifying she won't go outside by herself anymore. Christy Brow is a resident of Highgate, Vermont, and she joins us now. Christy, thank you for joining us. You're a part hey. of this Swanton sector, and it is seeing unbelievable numbers. What is it like? Uh, well, you never, um, it's scary to know that you don't know what's lurking around in your woods. Um, we never know what we're going to find out back in our field. Um, we found, you know, clothes, as you see in the video. Um, water thermoses, um, you never know what you're going to find out there. My son has been out there. Of course, Border Patrol was following footprints. Um, yeah, it's it. you don't feel too safe. Are you worried, Christy, that there could be national security implications here, that we could be at risk on our northern border, not just the southern border? Absolutely, yeah. It's definitely increasing the amount of people coming over. Um, you know, we don't see it daily, but at least um, every other week, um, you know, you see you see some kind of sign that someone was out there. Uh, we did have video footage on our trail cam um, of three people coming across. Um, the guy in the front was saw our flash go off, so he motioned to the other guys to stay still. Um, once I guess he felt it was safe, then he motioned for them to continue. So they just continued on their way. Um, our neighbors, um, they've actually seen people on our property as well go into our field. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of unsettling. You and Christian, don't you say, know what anyone's intentions are. You say it's not every day, but it's every week. And the Swanton Border Patrol uh, chief in that sector, Bob Garcia, tweeted just how bad it is. You see here, since October 1st, Swanton agents have encountered or apprehended more than 3,100 subjects from 55 countries, more than fiscal years 2022, 21, 20, and 19 combined. Chrissy, can this continue? Can can you guys sustain us? I mean, here's a a leafy hamlet, if you will, a, a sort of out of a storybook little Vermont town, and now all of a sudden you've got 5,500 countries, some yeah. 3,100 migrants in the past four and a half months. Yeah, it's um, it's just it's getting worse. It's just increasing. We have seen people walking down the interstate with backpacks. Uh, we always just call Border Patrol. Um, they do patrol here um, more. Um, you'll, we see them daily driving back and forth by the house, looking in the ditches. Um, so they're obviously seeing daily sign of people coming across, um, but we don't see that. Um, hey, Christy, but they're just, definitely out there patrolling more. Just in the last few seconds I've got left, because we've got to wrap it up, thank you for joining us, but are the Border Patrol agents themselves telling you guys that you should protect yourself, that you should be concerned about this? They don't tell us to protect ourselves. Are they, are, they, are they making you aware of dangers because of the crossings? Um, no, not usually. Okay. We protect ourselves anyway. Um, we're a hunting yep. family here, um, but we're um, we have a lot of protection here. Yeah. Um, and yeah. that's all you really got to do is you know stay protected and lock everything yep. up. Yeah, I've heard the uh, uh, crossings certainly are down in rifle hunting season. Yeah. Christy Brow, thank you very much for taking time. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilme. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.